G'day Whovians and welcome to this week's brand new video. This week I'm talking about first episodes. You know the first episodes, the premiere, the pilot episode, the beginning, the first ever episode, the season opener. I'm, I'm running out of names here. And with New Who we have had some phenomenal series openers with this epic scene in series one's Rose. Rob. Or this really intense scene in series six. Or even this mind-blowing moment from the opening episode of series 12. Or, or should I say spy master. Hi. And with series 13 now in full swing, I thought that this week I would rank every single opening episode of New Who. And remember in the comments down below, let me know what your rankings are. So let's go. Coming in at number 13 on my list, whoa, I'm gonna get in trouble for this one, is series 10's opening episode, The Pilot. So this episode, ugh, I really don't like this episode. I don't really like series 10 as a whole. There are a lot of episodes in series 10 that I just don't enjoy. They're just not good. And I'm really not a fan of Bill Potts. I love Nardole, I love the 12th Doctor, but Bill Potts, I never liked Bill. It, I tried to, but I just couldn't. I don't know what it is, I just never liked her as a companion. I thought she was really, really obnoxious and really annoying. And so for the series 10 opener, I just didn't enjoy it. The storyline, I think, is not that great. The alien is pretty pathetic. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this story. Number 12 is The Woman Who Fell to Earth. Now look, this is a very good story. I really, really enjoyed this story. I just had to fit it somewhere in my list. But it is a very good story. I really do enjoy this story. I think it's a great first story for the 13th Doctor. I can remember watching this episode on TV and really enjoying it. I've binge watched it a lot of times as well. While series 11 is not the best, I think this story is a really strong story to kick it off and kick off the 13th Doctor's era. Coming in at number 11 is The Magician's Apprentice from series nine. Now this story, I can remember watching this story on TV and everyone else, everyone that I knew really loved this story. It's a decent story, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. While everyone else really enjoyed the story, I didn't and so I couldn't really understand, you know, why people were loving it. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of great scenes in this story and the Daleks are my favorite Doctor Who aliens, as you can tell. So I was really, really excited for this story. You know, an awesome two-part, a huge Dalek story to kick off the series with basically every single Dalek in this story. I was so excited, but I didn't enjoy it. I am rather disappointed that I don't like this story because it is a great story, but definitely not in my top 10, not one of my favorites. Coming in at number 10 is Asylum of the Daleks. Now again, I remember watching this episode on TV and not a lot of people enjoyed it, and I did. I think this is a pretty strong story. I think it's a good story to kick off the series. I really love this story. As I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of the Daleks, my favorite monsters, so I was very excited for this story, and I still enjoy it a lot. I always love re-watching this story because I think it's just a fun story. Don't take it too seriously. It's a great story to kick off series seven. Coming in at number nine is series two's New Earth. Again, another story that you shouldn't take seriously. This is a fun way to introduce the new Doctor, introduce a new dynamic between the Doctor and Rose, and I think it's a great story. There are a lot of comedic moments in this story that work really, really well. I think the idea of the patient zombie things are quite fun. Cassandra O'Brien, of course, and the dynamic, the chemistry between the 10th uh, Doctor and Rose is really well, uh, well written. And I think this is just a really fun story to watch. Coming in at number eight is series 13's The Halloween Apocalypse. Now this one is still pretty raw. This is our latest series opener and it was a really, really good series opener. 
while this story did have its issues, I thought this was a great story to kick off the series. It was fun, it was really intense, um, and a lot of really kind of mystery moments. Nevertheless, a really great story, definitely in my top 10. Coming in at number 7 is Series 6, The Impossible Astronaut. This is another episode that I'm going to get shamed for because people always put this episode high up on their list. <laughs> but not me! This is a fun story. This is a, a good story. Um, a great story to kick off Series 6 for sure. Series 6 is one of my least favourite series of New Who anyway. Um, there's a couple of good episodes that I love, but most of the episodes for me fall pretty flat. I do, however, think that The Impossible Astronaut and uh, Day of the Moon are one of the strongest stories, two of the strongest stories, sorry, um, in this series. And while I do really enjoy this story, and I always get a kick out of watching it, um, it yeah, it's not one of my favourites. This story introduced us to one of the scariest Doctor Who aliens ever, The Silence. Wait, what was I saying? Number six is Rose, the first ever episode of New Who. Before I mention this story, let me just say, I do really love this story. This is um, one of my favourite Doctor Who stories, I think, ever. It's just a beautiful story and a great way to kick off the revival of Doctor Who. But it isn't in my top five. There's a lot of action moments in this story and a lot of great moments that set up uh, the series to come. But uh, there's a, I have a lot of issues with this story as well. But nevertheless, a great story to kick off the revival. Now we are getting to the top 5. Coming in at number 5 is Series 12 Spyfall Part 1. Now this was a good story. If you don't like the Spyfall story in Series 12, you're wrong. This is a wicked story. It's like a James Bond movie with Doctor Who. And if you know me, you'll know that I love James Bond movies. So to mix Doctor Who with James Bond, oh, magnifique. This story had action, it had comedy, it had a little bit of drama, and that cliffhanger, whoa, that cliffhanger is one of my favourite Doctor Who cliffhangers ever. Mainly due to the fact that I had no idea the Master was coming back. I don't think anybody did, to be honest. And so that made that cliffhanger so much more like exciting and satisfying. Number four is Series 3's Smith and Jones. Now this story has a soft spot in my heart. I think this was the first full Doctor Who story that I ever watched. Regardless of that, I do love this story. It's a great story, it is intense, and we got the Jadoon out of it. Moltro, Loto, Poco, Mo, no. But as I said, Smith and Jones is such a great story. It's intense, action-packed, a few comedic moments here and there, but it's so fun. Honestly, it's a great way to kick off series three, um, with an episode that shouldn't take itself too seriously, but still has a lot of heart in it. Coming in at number three is the 11th Doctor's debut story, The 11th Hour. Now here is a great story. When it was announced that Russell T Davies was leaving Doctor Who, a lot of people I think were very scared of how Stephen Moffat was going to turn the show around. But right from the get-go, he nailed it. The 11th Hour is such a beautiful story. In just this one story, we get so much brilliant character development for Amy Pond and the chemistry between the 11th Doctor and Amy is fantastic. I'd go as far as saying that this is probably one of my favourite Doctor Who episodes of all time. It's just such a fun story, um, a lot of comedy, a lot of intense action and it's just a, oh, it's a great way to start Series 5. Coming in at number 2 is the 12th Doctor's debut story in Series 8, Deep Breath. Another brilliant story. Here in Australia, I didn't go and see this in cinemas. It was playing in cinemas here. I didn't see it in cinemas. Um, I watched it on TV, but I watched this episode eight times when it came out. I loved this episode. I still do. It's such a fun story. I really like that we get to see the Doctor um, kind of broken again and very unsure of who he is. And I really like that, that he doesn't even think he's a good man anymore, that he doesn't really trust himself anymore. Plus this story has the Paternoster Gang, some really cool robot things, and Peter Capaldi. And now, Whovians, get ready for my number one opening episode of all time, and that episode is... Drum roll please! Bet you didn't know I had bongos, hey? My number one opening episode of all time is Series 4's Partners in Crime. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that Series 4 is my favourite New Who series ever. 
there is a new year series yet to come that will knock that out of the place but series four is in my eyes perfect and this episode is an incredible way to kick off this series the chemistry between david tennant and Catherine tate is um, back from the runaway bride we see them together again and it is beautiful i like that the aliens aren't evil we get to see a softer side to the universe uh, a softer kind of invasion i like Catherine tate when i say i like Catherine tate i like that we got to see a dramatic side of her because she's a comedy actress you, we haven't seen that a lot before doctor who and i like to see i like that we got to see a different side of her and that was really awesome but this episode is so good because it gives us a little taste of what to expect in series four a little bit of banter between the doctor and donna and a little bit of drama and of course adventure but partners in crime is ah oh, it's literally ah oh, it's perfect let me know what your rankings are of the Doctor Who New Who opening episodes. Don't forget to tune in to Doctor Who this Sunday and look out for my episode of Who Review next week. Hello, this is Sylvester McCoy here, Doctor Who number 7. I want to say, Whovians, don't forget to subscribe to Whovian Comly. There's a new video every week. And you don't have to be Comly to watch it. You can be uncomely too. Thanks for watching this week's brand new video, Whovians. And as the doctor just said, subscribe. There is a brand new video every single Friday. And if you did enjoy this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week.